Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Stan Karyon and I will talk you through this uh, support video. The topic of this video is how to implement hierarchical output using the unstructured data transformation. This video applies to the B2B data transformation and PowerCenter 9.5 products. This support video will illustrate the benefits of using the hierarchical output option in the unstructured data transformation and how to implement it. The basis of this example is the tutorial 2 of the B2B DT Getting Started Guide. In this tutorial, the steps of implementing a B2B parser to parse HL7 files and convert them to XML is explained. Details on the on this tutorial can be found in the documentation getting started guide and in particular we are looking at chapter 2 basic parsing techniques for this example. The files used in this example are available in your PowerCenter client installation in the following di directory tutorials, exercises, files for tutorial 2. We are starting off this video in the new data processor um, which is available in 9.5 uh, within the Informatica developer tool. The same would apply if you are using the Informatica data transformation studio. Now this script has been completely implemented according to the steps in tutorial 2 and as you can see what it is doing is parsing an unstructured HL7 file and um, transforming that to an output XML file. Now if we are looking at using this uh, DT project within a power center mapping we would be using the unstructured data transformation. As you might have already seen uh, unstructured data transformation looks like this uh, and of course you would be linking it to whichever service name you are processing. Now the issue we are seeing in this particular example is the output of the DT project is XML. So before we can do any further processing of that output within a power center mapping, we would need to transform that XML to normal power center ports. In order to do that, you might have implemented previously an XML parser, which is taking the XML output parsing the XML and transforming it to power center ports. Now this works fine and there's no issue with using this, but as you already see there is uh, some added complexity here uh, in actually having to use an unstructured data transformation to actually get the data transformed and then again having an XML parser to actually be able to use that data anywhere else in your mapping. Now this is where the output hierarchy offered uh, as part of the unstructured data transformation comes in handy. In this similar mapping, which is uh, doing exactly the same thing, you can see already that the unstructured data transformation is looking completely different. Um, rather than having just an input buffer and output buffer, as in the previous example, you can see there is a whole range of output ports now representing the actual data that we want to go and extract uh, from our DT project. Now, how do you um, get to such an unstructured data transformation? How do you implement it? This is all done within the properties of the unstructured data transformation. Uh, if we open up the properties, you will notice two tabs here. Uh, one is called input hierarchy, the other output hierarchy. Both are very similar, uh, but in this video we will be only looking at the output hierarchy. Uh, so once you are in this tab, uh, you will always have a PC XSD root, which is uh, the main element, the, the root element uh, for this kind of hierarchy. And within that hierarchy, you can go and define uh, the output as you wish. So if we just quickly go back at the XML uh, that is being produced by our DT project, you can see that we have data uh, like a message, we've got a patient, we have a specific test that's being done, and then we have uh, a number of results uh, for those tests. 
So within the unstructured data transformation output hierarchy, I can go and define this. This is just all uh, easy done by just adding ports, deleting ports, changing the types, precision, and all that. And so I have got my message, my patients, my test details, and as a child, I have my numerous results. So once you are happy with that, you just click OK, and you will actually see all of the ports appearing within your unstructured data transformation. Now the next step is to tell the B2B project on how to produce data in such a way that the unstructured data transformation can process that data directly. The first step in doing that is to export what you have created in the output hierarchy to an XML schema. can be done by just clicking on the export the XML schema link. Uh, we will save this here as a XSD file. And if we then go and check what this looks like, it is just a, a, a plain XSD, uh, which is uh, again characterized by the PC XSD root, as we have seen in the output hierarchy window in the transformation. And then all of the fields as defined by you um, in, the, in, in the hierarchy. So once we have this XSD, we can go back to our DT project and modify our DT project to uh, use this XSD as an output. I have done this in this project. So if we go in the references, um, so the schema I'm using in this uh, instant is a schema that was just produced by the designer. Uh, and it contains all of the definitions as done within the output hierarchy of the um, output uh, of the unstructured data transformation. Uh, the mappings here are exactly the same. The only difference is the placeholders, which are now the placeholders from my new XSD. And if I were to run this script, you can see again we are getting an XML. But rather than the custom uh, XML which was defined in the previous example, in this case you can see everything is defined according to the uh, specifications of the unstructured data transformation. So as a consequence, if I am executing this unstructured data transformation now, I will directly get fed all of the information that I want to process in ports in the unstructured data transformation and then these can be linked directly to downstream targets or the transformations without having the need of any further XML parser. We hope that you have enjoyed this support video. We would like to hear any feedback from you. Uh, you can contact us by email on supportvideos at informatica.com or on Twitter at InfoSupport. Thanks for your time. Bye.